Alright boys, so welcome back to a brand new video. I'm trying not to be too loud because it's actually nighttime here. I actually wanted to tell you guys because I have this big announcement that I've been holding on for a while now. I'll be running a half marathon competition, 13 kilometers right after I wake up. And so I'm getting myself mentally ready because you guys already know from my last video I've talked about how you should mentally prepare yourself much more than physically because normally physically you're not gonna reach your limits because your mind is always the, the limiting factor and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning I'm trying not to shout here let's get it boys Ow. alright boys so I just woke up it's actually super hot out here and look at this shit Literally, sun is shining in the sky. We gotta get ready mentally. Now we're just gonna eat some, uh, like, very lightly. So let's get it on. So when you have a routine, you have to keep in mind that sometimes your routine, you won't be able to make it, that some days they're going to be different and uh, you might have to break your routine. I've been breaking my routine every couple days because sometimes I like to go out with my friends and stuff and so I've been thinking like what can I do? to minimize breaking my routine when I do different sort of activities that weren't initially planned. When you do have a routine, which it takes more time than most people think of, like you have to test it out, you have to really try a bunch of different routines to see which fits your own needs. But when you do find a routine and uh, you stick to it like for a very long period of time, becomes actually hard for you to break it and it's so easy to go on through your day because once you plan everything out you maximize when you have everything scheduled and everything planned out for you look at this view man breaking this routine if you have done it like as a habit as something that you've done like for a while it becomes sort of easy and so once you break it once or two times like it's easy for you to go back to your routine because you like start to miss it in some way but let's say that you are trying to find your routine and uh, you break your routine by going out with friends so what can you do to go back to the to your routine and that's something that I've been thinking about lately look who showed up the dog I'm gonna keep her here next to me so the day after you go out you have to know that you're gonna have less time during that day you still try to do the things that you normally do but in different times and perhaps even for less time so like normally if I have a workout uh, it's like I don't know like if I train during a day I train of like for up to four hours in a day I can perhaps like uh, if I go to the gym and I train like two and a half hours or two hours perhaps I go to the gym and I train for one hour or one hour thirty something like that so like you're not skipping a day it's not a day off but you're doing less that, than you normally do uh, compared to other days and then what you want to do is also plan your next day like every minute plant saves you 10 minutes by the end if you hadn't planned you want to say goodbye to the camera little one Ooh. <laughs> all right boys so I'm back it's super hot outside but yeah I completed the 13 kilometers and it's hard to see but in one hour five minutes and 44 seconds look at the physique literally when you're doing like those long runs it feels like they never end and the splits were more or less like five minutes bro I was feeling like super invincible at the end there I felt like I could finish the whole half marathon 
So yeah, now we just gotta get our pacing right, but uh, I'm sure that I'll be able to make it. Man, these runs are so refreshing, man. I gotta go inside, cause we gotta stretch. Always stretch after a run, boys. Always stretch before and after your runs. So let's get it. Physique. Alright boys, so a couple days passed since that last 13 kilometers that you guys saw me do and I wanted to explain to you guys my current half marathon training plan because I'm going for a sub 1 hour and 40 minutes half marathon. It's my first ever running competition. It's going to be uh, July 17th and so I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing to come in shape to the race day. So quick little disclaimer before I show you guys my training plan, I just wanted to say that I'm not the most experienced person in running and so I might be doing some things wrong because it's my first ever running competition so yeah take everything that I say for a grain of salt but I am trying to make the best out of my training plan. So basically I'm two and a half weeks out from my half marathon and so the way I set my training plan up is that I have one long run per week plus the last week being a taper but now since I'm like at that final stage I'm prioritizing longer runs so I'm perhaps having a long run and then having two days off and then going for another longer run and I'm not doing like those very short runs that I used to do in the beginning and more frequency <laughs> And so today is day 30 of June, it's a Thursday and my race day is going to be on day 17th of July. And so I have exactly two and a half weeks and uh, tomorrow Friday, day 1 of July, I'll be having my 8k run and my last big run is going to be on July 4th which will be a 15 kilometer run which I'll be doing in the race day pace which is 4 minutes and 43 uh, seconds per kilometer uh, pace which is the final like the pace that I need to be doing if in order to get the sub 1 hour and 40 minutes half marathon so if I can make it on July 4th this 15 kilometers on the right pace I'll be pretty confident that on race day I'll be able to complete my run. One thing to note though is that by day 4 and 9 I'll actually be traveling and so it's gonna be a challenge to schedule in my runs which I'll be doing a 15 kilometers on July the 4th and uh, July 7th I'll be having a 10 kilometer run so it's gonna be hard but I'm still gonna make it boys you know how it is. My knee uh, started like hurting last week but now it's not hurting anymore and I think it's due to a couple stretches so uh, I'm being extra careful now with my knee so that I do not get hurt uh, until race day. And so 11th of July on Monday I'll start my taper which means I'll decrease my running volume and so uh, by that day I'll actually be doing shorter races and like really to come into race day as recovered as possible and really smash it. And I'm feeling confident baby, we're gonna try our best to make it. It's like the, the final moments are here boys, so we gotta make the best out of it. Finito! She's the best grandma in the whole world, boys. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video to show you guys my weightlifting plan. So yeah, see you guys then. Wait, wait, wait. You know how it is. We can't leave it at that. Let's get it, boys. So yeah, that's it. See you guys on next video.